Hey guys, I'm back with my first care guide video on the Ocellaris Clownfish. So I've said in previous videos that when I hit about 200 subscribers, I'd start doing care guide videos and how-to videos based on fish keeping. So let's jump right into the care guide. So first I'm going to start on statistics on Ocellaris Clownfish, where I'm going to be going through care level, price, tank size, temperament, salinity, max size, diet and compatibility with other fish. So let's begin with the price. So the price on this guys is in between 18 and 30 pounds, well it depends, it's depending on where you go, what kind of fish shop you're going to. I got mine for about £18 each, but I paid £30 for the pair, so because when you buy a pair, it's usually you don't pay, so 18 so let's say, well these were £18 each, so if you bought both of them, it wouldn't be, what's say 18 36 it's they usually do kind of a deal if you're buying two of them, which is good if you want a pair of them, try and buy them at the same time, instead of one, and then wait a week, another one. Because then it's it's harder for them to pair, and when you're buying them, try to buy them when they're already in the same tank together, and that's always good. So um, yeah, my, yeah, only eighteen pounds for the pair. Uh, yeah, tank size. All these fish need about a minimum of ten gallons, but you could go a little lower. These fish aren't really fussed about tank size um, you could put them in about you I'd say a minimum of a tank 10 gallon but you could go a little lower maybe a, an eight I would say th actually this this tank that I've got the Fluvo Evo 13.5 which is 13.5 US gallons but it's 12 gallons in the actual display but whilst you got when you got rock and your sand and you know all your bits in there it's not this actually comes out to about 45 46 liters so you could put them in a minimum of maybe 38 liters but again they're not really fussed but just make sure they don't get too big if you've got a smaller tank care level clownfish are the i would say i'm not going to say one of the easiest fish i'm going to say is the easiest fish well salt or fish that you can get in the hobby you you can't really go wrong wrong with them at all. They never really fight with any fish. Well, it depends kind of what other fish you put in there. So you got to make sure it's not really an odd number. So yeah, super super easy, super easy. It's a great beginner fish. That's why I'm going for them because it, this is my first saltwater tank. That's why I've got these two, and they do perfectly fine with the other damselfish currently in the tank, which is at the back there. Temperament, well I kind of just went into this on the care level, but extremely, extremely peaceful. Again, depends what kind of fish you've got in there. Not, I wouldn't put an odd number, so in this size, well, if, if you've got a small tank like this, I wouldn't put a third one in because if two pair, they might gang up on the other one and it's not really fair. So just, if you've got a small tank, like a nano tank like this, I do recommend just keeping them in a pair or four. Well, if you've got a small one, I won't put four fish in there, especially clownfish, because they can get a bit beefy. I'll get to tanks up, and I'll get to um, the size of them in a bit. Um, but yeah, really, really peaceful, really peaceful. Um, yeah, moving on. Right, moving on to salinity. Salinity, not really. I say I say it's about most things like the care level and the temp temperament, but they're not really fast about the salinity. It's one. It's aimed at. Well, this is most with 90% of fish. Uh, 1.020 to 1.025. You just got to make sure you don't raise it or lower it too quickly because they can, you know, go into sh kind of shock. So don't try and, you know, if you want to get your salinity up. So if it's too low, I wouldn't. I wouldn't panic and suddenly shoot it up because that's actually going to kill your fish. But they are super, super, super hardy fish. So they will probably survive it, but you want to, you know, relieve them of that pain of, you know, jumping up salinity. It's harder to go up in salinity than down. So just make sure you're aware of your salinity in the tank. Max size, only three inches on these guys. They don't get that big, but three inches, but they do get, yeah, a bit beefy, I, I guess, kind of. When I say beefy, I mean quite 
fat. They don't get really fat, but they, they kind of just... They, I mean, this one down here, that's kind of average clownfish, and the one up there is a tiny bit under average. But I say average is kind of kind of mid. This one right here is about an inch and a half. That one's about an inch, maybe just a tiny bit over. So the they don't really get that big, which is good. So they're great for a nano tank. They don't they're always constantly out, so they're not like they are big swimmers, but they're not. They don't need a whole lot of space. So don't worry about them. Don't worry about clownfish getting way too big. Um, and Another thing that I'm just going to add to um, the size is lifespan, which is living up to max of... I've seen people keep them the maximum of 30 years, but it really depends on... Well, in captivity, 30 years. But it depends on how well you're keeping them. If, if you look after them well and feed them, keep the water parameters just right, not putting them under stress or like constantly taking, taking them out of tank or hands in the tank or whatever, just stress-free um, then yeah you can keep them for about 30 years but yeah it's it's common to get over five years on these guys if you look after them well so yeah diet omnivore which means everything every, well, yeah which means anything literally anything I'm feeding uh, yeah that's our vitamin pop there's actually spectrum pellets in there and I suppose uh, they do peck on algae wafers, they peck on it, they don't really eat it. So, spectrum pellets is the way to go with clownfish. It's, I would say, well, it, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, I would say yes. Um, I guess it's, it is the best food that you can get for any fish. Any fish, or f actually, yeah, fresh water as well. I, I was going to say only for salt water, but yeah, and literally anything. Even even the shrimps, my shrimp pieces as well, and my crab. Where's my crab? Oh, that's quite. It's right there. So, spectrum pellets definitely re recommended, but they are a bit expensive. There, I think for that part it was. Well, you want the probiotics ones. Spectrum New Life Spectrum probiotics. I did a video on that. Go check it out. It was a couple videos ago. Go look on my channel and subscribe. And yeah, that's feeding. Finally, compatibility, pretty much anything. I would just ask me if in the comments if you have any questions on what other... So if you're, if you're looking to keep a clownfish or two, which is recommended, a two, two recommended. If, you, if you're worried about putting a, a, another small fish into your tank and you don't know if the clownfish is going to fail with them, I would just just leave a comment in the comment section. I'm always I'm always replying. I'm always looking at the comments, all constantly. I keep mine with a damselfish. They interact, but no fighting at all. There's there's been no issues at all, and they've been together for about two, three weeks, maybe maybe nearly a month, and I've had no problems at all with them. So yeah, just ask. In the comments and yeah so if I guess that's it for this video that's the clownfish care guide hope you enjoyed well like like the button like hit the like button if you enjoyed and comment down below as I just said if you have any questions on the clownfish any other questions not just that compatibility if there's anything I accidentally didn't mention or anything like that but the main thing is they're really good beginner fish and super super hardy, super super easy and temperament is really really really, um, oh what's the word, um, peaceful. So yeah, that'll do it for this video, uh, you'll see me in a week, not with another keg, well yeah probably not with another keg guy video, I'll probably be doing these once maybe twice a month. So every other video maybe, I don't know. Uh, so next video will probably be an update. I might have some more corals, I might not. This GSP is still in quite a bit. And yeah. So bye guys.